Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can draw this super cute cat using only Procreate default brushes. I will guide you through all the steps and I'm sure that at the end you'll be able to create a beautiful draw. These are the canvas settings and if you enjoy content like this, please consider liking and subscribing. With the HB pencil and the size 20%, Let's start drawing the head. Let's draw a circle and a line in the middle of this circle. Now we can draw a curved line. And two more curved lines. On this side, leave a gap like this. And this other side leave a smaller gap between the lines. Using these base guides, we can start adding the eyes, one here, and the other one here. Let's draw one line using the point of the eyes as reference and in the middle of this line we draw another small line. This will be the length of the muzzle and we can add the nose and a small mouth. Just erase this part of the mouth. And at the corners of the mouth. With the selection tool and the freehand option, I will just select the mouth and put it a little uh, not with the fill color, <laughs> just move it a little bit. Let's add two eyebrows. And now, just draw a curved line like this. This will be a guide when we start drawing the body. Always using these guidelines. We will draw the ears, just adjust its shape, and let's place the other one here. And let's draw some something like a triangle for this fluffy part of the cat. Now let's add the body, try to replicate this shape. And let's also add the tail. I will just erase these extra lines. And now we can start adding the paws.
using the selection tool I will just adjust its positioning and erase these excess lines and the back paws draw format like this that will be the tight and let's add the paws one in this place now the sketch is finished let's just select it and spread it for the canvas let's just centralize it and also change its opacity can be around 35 34 percent create another layer let's use the brush pen with the size two percent And let's start lining our cat. Let's start drawing the face in a separate layer. Later we will create another layer and we will draw the body. I decided to add two teeth now let's start to draw the line art of the body create another layer And we can now start drawing the line art. When drawing the fur of the head, let's draw it a little bit outside of this base circle that we created.
we can also add some more fur inside its ear. some extra fur here.
Now let's return to the face lanyard layer and add some fingers. In this paw, let's add three lines. In this one, just two because one finger is hiding behind this other paw. In this other paw, let's just add two lines because of the perspective and add more three lines in this one. Now that our line art is finished, we can disable the sketch layer and with the liquify tool, I will make some adjustments on the face and the body. Now that our adjustments to the line yard are done, let's start coloring. We can create another layer under the layer 2. This color palette you can find in the description. Select this first color and go to the layer 3 and select the background with the automatic selection and invert. Now return to the layer 4 and fill layer. Create another layer, clipping mask, select this color and with the soft brush let's add some more base colors. another layer clipping mask and this other color and let's add one more base color inside these areas of the eyes too and inside the ears
we will add some stripes to our cat create another layer and clipping mask select this color and the brush pen this size can be around 20 or 21 percent and let's add some stripes Go to the face line yard layer and color this layer. Click the clipping mask and let's select this color alpha lock and fill layer. Now unselect alpha lock, go to the line yard of the body, clipping mask, and set it to soft light. You can duplicate this layer if you think the color is too light. Let's go to the stripes layer and adjust its opacity to 60%. Now let's draw the eyes of the cat. Let's create another layer under the face line yard and select this this brush here, the brush pen and let's draw the iris draw a circle don't take your pen off the screen and put another finger on the screen to create a perfect circle let's adjust its size now we can just duplicate this layer Pass it to the other side. Just a small adjustment to the sides. Let's unite these two layers and erase this excess. Go to Gaussian Blur and blur it a little, 2%. Create another layer under, select this color and can be the Studio Pen Brush and let's paint inside the eyes. select the soft brush eraser and create a mask so we won't erase exactly the layer and just erase these parts here of the eye and this layer here let's also set it to soft light return to the eye layer and with the Gaussian blur Blur it a little. Now let's paint the pupils. Under the face lanyard, create another layer and select this color. And with the harder brush, let's paint the pupils. Again, let 
let's erase them this excess blur them a little with the Gaussian blur create a mask with the soft brush and erase it a little bit to create a gradient create another layer above the iris one select this color and set the layer to add with the harder brush let's add some highlights this highlights line that we created let's select the last layer and create another layer above clipping mask and multiply with opacity 76% select this last color and let's add some shadows Let's blend these shadows with the medium blend just in some parts. Don't blend it completely, leave some hard edges in some parts. part is optional we can make our draw softer by blending some line yards first let's adjust the opacity of the face line yard and with the round brush let's blend some parts of it
we can select alpha lock and just repaint the eyebrows. Unselect alpha lock and let's continue to blend. Let's hide this second body line yard that we duplicated and go to this other one and let's blend it a little too just to make the line yard softer. Let's go to this lanyard that we duplicated and delete it and duplicate the new one that we made softer. Let's return to the face lanyard and blend the fingers. Let's just select all of these layers and do some final adjustments with liquify. We can use the flip horizontal tool to check for more parts that we want to adjust. And that's it! Our cute cat is done! Thanks for watching! I really hope that this tutorial was helpful to you and that you enjoyed to watch it. If you like it, this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.